Why do you wish to retire? Your Majesty, are you sick? Yeah, that's the council I want to thank you for your concerns. I appreciate it. But as you can see, I am not sick. I am actually hale and healthy. But I have come to the realization that it is better for, for us to leave the affairs of this kingdom in the hands of a young man who has traveled far and wide. I have not come of age myself. But we have a saying in this land that he who has traveled far and wide is of more wisdom than he who has not. It is based on this that I have decided to step down as the king of Uguaje kingdom so that my son, Ubiora, will rule in my stead. Is the prince aware of this decision, your majesty? Does your majesty think the prince will agree to rule Uguaje while his father, the king, is still alive? He will not agree to the king's decision. Obiora, I know, is attached to his farming. He cannot abandon his large expanse of lands, of cash crops, to come down here to answer the king's call. Your Majesty, for him to travel far away to procure his farm settlement in another kingdom, when he has access to lands in Uguaji, is enough to speculate that he will not accept this decision. Your Majesty, there is sense in what my fellow elders are saying. Well, unfortunately, this my decision is not one to be argued. I have taken a position, and what I have just said is the value of the king. It is final. Igwe. Several years after your death, you still occupy an irreplaceable position in my life. My first bride. My first love. When I former feels frustrated about how I feel towards you, but I cannot help it. For you are the love of my life, and I will love you until I die. My queen, you look worried. What is the matter? Of course I'm worried. I'm actually upset. It's been 29 years I got married to my husband, the king. And he has never shown me love. He has never cuddled me. All I get from him is this, this coldness. Like my whole existence in this palace does not mean anything to him. Uh. My queen, do not let it trouble you at all. <laughs> Everyone can testify that you are the best thing that has happened in this palace. You have selflessly cared for the king and the prince. Even the entire kingdom. We appreciate you, my queen. I wish those beautiful words came out from my husband's mouth. I wouldn't have been complaining. My queen, you have no reason to. Whether he says it or not, you are the queen, the mother of his heir, his only wife. His reign wouldn't have been this successful if you were not there by his side. He may not say it, but he's aware of your selfless efforts in making this palace a beautiful place to dwell. Thank you. It's all right, my queen. Those words make me feel good. Thank you, my queen. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you, my queen. Abweke. Abweke, what were you discussing with the way of that almost made her shit tears? Must you always meddle in other people's affairs? I don't know. Why are you like this? You see, 
This is what I keep saying. Yeah? Foolish people will always want to answer a question with another question. Oh no, what is wrong if I care about what bothers the queen of my land? No, no, what is wrong? Huh? Anyway, uh, gluttons we always want to put that to the kitchen where they eat from. Yeah, you keep eating. No, 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 keep protecting the kitchen. Keep eating. Oh, for its west. Wow, wow. No, no, one day, uh, 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 the whole palace will hear it. Wow. It will be that you are blown. I thank the gods that I am not one of you. No, keep eating. Idiot. <laughs> That's why they call you a John. So how is the palace? Our next home to be. Nee, you can say that again and again. Everyone is busy with the preparation for the return of my fiance, the prince. Mm -hmm. I wish to be young again just listening to you. You see, um, time to time I've always known that we belong to royalty. My dream is coming true. I've always known that my star shines brighter. I've always known that I deserve the good things in life. But are you not worried that you may be in need of love someday? Yes. Because I really can't guarantee if this union is of love. Mama, power is love. Wealth is love. Influence is love. Love is getting the finest things in life. So, my friend, how is the preparation for the arrival of the day? That's for the royal home to worry about. All I have to do is to open my arm and welcome him when he comes. <laughs> he must be feeling lucky. In fact, you are favored by the boys. A few months from now, Olamiri will be addressed as the Queen of Uguaji. <laughs> hmm. um, are you sure I, I can still have access to you? Like, can I come and see you at the palace? Why not? You are my friend. All I want is a test of royalty and all that comes with it. Um. Does it mean you, you don't love the prince? All you talk about is wealth, power. What is the essence of love if you can't be comfortable? I don't know if your definition of love is suffering and helplessness. I don't really love him. Like my heart's beating at the very sight of him. My heart does not even skip at the thought of him either. I just want to be his queen, you know, having the entire kingdom as a subject, you know, using my power the way I want, the way I feel. <laughs> um, you're joking, right? Are you serious? You're going into a loveless marriage? Ola Mary, money is not everything. Power is not everything. You are going to be in this for the rest of your life. What kind of mindset is this? Oh, now I understand it's going to take a very long time to bring you out of this generational poverty. My friend, change your mindset. I know that it's been hectic these few days in the palace. As you all know, my son, the prince, has been away for six years now. And he is coming back to assume the kingship of this kingdom. So I want all hands to be on deck. Every food, every meal that is prepared should be cooked well, okay? Everywhere must be spotlessly clean. 
I want him to feel at home when he comes back. Have I made myself clear? Yes, my yes, friend. Good. You can all go back to your duty posts. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> welcome back, son. Thank you. On behalf that. of everyone in the palace, I welcome you back. <laughs> Thank you very I, much. I father. hope your journey was indeed exciting. Yes, it was, Father. <laughs> Thank you very much once again. Welcome home, son. I know you've missed home so much. Especially the, the delicacies. But not to worry. I prepared something very sumptuous for you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, I would love to test everything. I mean, I've been away for six whole years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my friends! My friends! <laughs> how are you? Fine, welcome. <laughs> Hello, Mary, how are you? Fine. Well, Mother, I would love to test everything. I mean, I've been away for six whole years. <laughs> Well, I'm happy to be home. I mean, I have missed home. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, Ifonanya, I want to thank you for taking care of the prince. Hmm? You've always been there since childhood for him. I only wish you can remain there forever. Thank you, Your Majesty. Oh, yes, Ifonanya. Thank you very much for taking care of my fans. I'm it's unfortunate that the Queen's heart desire will not come to pass as I'm the one to spend the rest of my life with him. <laughs> um, but don't worry, your effort is appreciated. <laughs> How can I forget that you will be getting married to the Prince, my Queen-to-be? <gasps> uh, once again, welcome back to Ugwaji Kingdom, son. Thank you. Yeah, the very first thing we have to do now is to prepare you to take over the throne. I am certain you know that is why you are back in the first place. Of course. And the first phase in that process is to prepare you for marriage. And look at her. <laughs> Ola Marie. <Murray. laughs> I am so certain she will make a wonderful wife. An excellent queen for you, just like your mother has been to me. Look at her. Is she not looking wonderful? <laughs> she is, father. <laughs> Well, Your Highness, however or whenever you want it. The good news is I am back home mm -hmm. and I'm ready to serve my people. Definitely. <laughs> and I am so certain the elders will be delighted to hear that. That's so after good. meeting with the elders, everything can start. All right, Father. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I greet you, my elders. I mean, it's been long. <laughs> Six whole years have come and gone, and you all still look strong and healthy. All thanks to the gods. <laughs> As always, the words of our crown prince are always sweet and reassuring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome. Thank we are glad much. to receive you. Thank you, my elder. <laughs> Thank you. Your father said he has discussed his retirement with you. Definitely. He has affirmed your willingness to ascend the throne. But hearing for the horse's mouth is best to be sure. So, are you ready to be crowned king? Ready to defend your people and rule them well? Take them to the next level and expose our land to the prosperity your father spoke about? Well, my elders, I must say, Wearing the crown is a great privilege and an honor to me. And I promise to do my best not to betray this great honor that my people have bestowed on me. <laughs> I will rule this land and take it to the next level. <laughs> and of course, expose this land to prosperity and development. <laughs> then, let's start by preparing for the royal marriage. 
Once more, welcome back home, our prince. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome, my prince. Thank you Are you stalking me? You know what? I have always known you to be a desperate and an ill-mannered person. But I never knew you would go to the extent of ranting that nonsense in the presence of the king. <laughs> Whoever said the truth is bitter must have thought it out well. Whatever bad behavior you feel I displayed back there was nothing but the truth. I am the one getting married to the prince. I am the one to stay with him forever. You and I know that you don't love the prince. You just want to have a test of royalty and power. It takes a criminal to know one. So stop acting as if you are innocent. If the prince was to be a pauper, would you have stayed with him all these years? No, you know, you've stayed with him all these years and you were watching him getting married to another woman. Are you really happy for him? You were nothing but a monster. Yes, that is what you are. In as much as I would love to become queen, I will never skim or jeopardize the happiness of the prince. I was chosen by the royal home. I did not skim my way or seduce him or even follow him around as if I live for nothing else. If anyone is guilty of all those, you are. You know what? Talking to you is a total waste of my time. <laughs> ah! How pathetic. After spending all these years with him, I still get to wear the crown. <laughs> Poor little thing. <laughs> Hola, Mary. Have you met the prince? How is he? I know you guys had a good time together. How could we? When he's surrounded by his restrictive mother and one so-called best friend. Well, I don't care. As far as I'm the one the king wants to be the next queen, Olami, well, calm down. I know both of you need to come together and understand each other, but you need to let him be in charge. I know the queen does not like me, Pa. But what I don't understand is, why did she approve of me getting married to her son when she does not like me? How will the queen hate you and approve you to be her future daughter-in-law? Just relax. I don't have fallen in love with you recklessly. I know she believes you. Calm down. If you say so. But as long as I get to control power, I don't care if the whole world hates me. <laughs> so how is it now? Hope she's getting well. You didn't say you were visiting the palace. What a surprise. Do I need to take permission before visiting the palace? Besides, in a few months, I will become a member of the royal household. Do you really have the confidence that your daughter will last as the queen of this kingdom? I know we've had our differences and squabbles in the past. But my daughter has nothing to do with this. So I advise you treat her well. She's all I have. Can you stop backing? Or have you come to threaten me? Because it has been your stock in trade. Your area of specialty over the years. Mm. To think that a riffraff will become the queen of this kingdom. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Did you see I was backing? Fine. Touch my daughter. And I will not only back, but also bite. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
A queen indeed. Let's see if she would last long enough to even wear that crown. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the mother of the bride? She must be very happy. For very soon, they will be welcome into reality. I'm sure. If only she knows it is her doom. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Don't pretend like you don't know. You have been in this palace serving faithfully for over two decades. Huh? Not to know about the legend of the ghost. Of the first bride being sacrificed on her marriage night to the ghost. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, listen. I will enlighten you more on whatever that bothers you. You understand? Just start the discussion from the beginning. I, I mean, from the exact point where we were started from. <laughs> ah! Ajonu, respect your life and leave this place. Leave this place. This is a royal secret and should not leave the walls of this palace. Now shut up and leave. Leave that. Can you do it? leave. No, 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 no. Are you the owner of this place? No, oh, oh, oh. Are, are you leaving? Get back to work. Listen, Mpoke, you have no right to ask me to leave. Yes! Because you are not the owner of this palace. You are not. You are nothing but a male servant. Made in a male maid. That has exhausted her, her, her half life serving as a man. No, 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 no. Leave, leave. Who are you? Yeah. You think you can order me out? Respect yourself, oh. You idiot. You idiot. Ajon, you are nothing but a jobless coward. Shh, shh, shh. This is not matter. You see me? You pull that for you. Leave me. Uh. Everything that, that that comes into into this palace, you eat. Mm. Come and eat today. You idiot. Come and eat today. Go, 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 go. You idiot. What happened? Any bad news from the palace? When she accepted you as her daughter-in-law to be, I was suspicious. Yes! Because our relationship is bad. I have been suspecting her motive for accepting you. You speak out of range, mother. Say it in a way I can understand. I heard from the maids today. That there is a curse placed on the first bride of the king. The first bride is taken by the ghost guarding the royal palace for sacrifice. She must surely die on the night of her marriage. What? Sacrifice to a ghost? Die? It has to be a rumor. It can't be true. It can't be true. That took me back to our king. He is currently married to his second wife. The first queen died mysteriously on the night of her marriage. Mother, so I was chosen not because I was qualified, but for sacrificial purpose. Oh. Unbelievable. They are wicked. <laughs> They are heartless. I can't take this. I'm going up single men. Come back here. Sit. Don't act so quick. I want to punish that evil queen. Who is willing to watch my only child offer that sacrifice? Listen. You will definitely become the queen without dying. Just give me some time. Let me come up with a plan. Don't trust your mother on this one. Yes, I did. Please sit. I have observed that you are no longer the happy and joyous person you used to be. Probably because of what is going on. 
You know I love you like my own daughter. My favorite. So why then did you choose another to be the future queen instead of me? Do you think that I do not remember that you are the rightful one to become queen? But I tell you something. Whatever decision we have taken is for your own good and safety. You will become queen. Okay? I don't understand you, my queen. <laughs> I mean, everything just seems so complicated. Well, one thing I want you to understand is that no matter what, you will become the queen. At the right time, you will understand everything. I was informed that the barking dog is back in the palace. Can you tell me why you're here, Kunle? How dare you trick me and my family? So you and your household plotted evil against mine. Kunle, can you bring your voice down? The walls of this palace have ears. What are you talking about? So you want to take your vengeance. Swear that vengeance is not the reason you want this to happen. Swear it! You are overreacting, Akunle. You want to be a member of this royal household. You want to taste power and wealth. Do I need to remind you that everything good has a price? So stop feigning innocence. It doesn't suit you. You and I are together in this game. You are wrong. And I will make you pay. I will show you what it means to play and win. My daughter will definitely become the queen. And she will not die. Just to watch and see me do it. Let's watch and see then. Why did you not tell me? Don't tell me you don't know about it. About what? The curse. The royal curse. Where the king's first bride is sacrificed to a certain ghost that guides the palace on her wedding night. <laughs> Come on. You're joking, right? Don't tell me you're joking because I know you very well. You're not the joking type. It's not a joke then. Tell me, where did you hear that from? The news is all over the palace. Even the mates know about it. Don't tell me you are ignorant of it. It therefore means I have been kept in the dark all this while. I will speak with His Highness, my father, right away. Are you, son? I'm fine, 
Father, I have lost count of the time I have forced you to stay at it. I think there's something mystical about it. And as your son, the next king of the great kingdom of ours, I'd like to ask, what is the mystery? Well, son, I... You are misunderstanding everything. There is nothing mysterious about the bead. As you can see, it is just a very simple bead, but special. In the sense that it is the only thing I took from my first bride. A very special woman. Unfortunately, she died the very night we got married. So it's true then. What? The existence of the cause. And nobody cared to tell me all this why. And now I am preparing for my marriage and someone has to be sacrificed. Listen, son, I don't know the people you have been listening to, but I have to warn you. Don't bother yourself about all those. Concern yourself with your marriage that is coming. Start in time to plan how you are going to rule as the next king of this kingdom. And begin to figure out how you are going to be a good king to our people. Okay? There you go again, Father. Secrets, secrets, and secrets. What more have you to unravel to me? Does anybody actually care about my feelings? The choices I make? Is it that no one thinks I am man enough to be told the things I need to know? Father, at this point, I don't care anymore. Just make sure nobody dies and find a solution to this case before my marriage. We are not friends and would never be. So what are you doing here? I don't intend to be friends with a living dead. The chosen sacrifice for a royal ghost. <laughs> you can say whatever you like. I am not dead. I would live long enough in Uguaji to reign as queen. You should be scared because when I become queen, you will be the first person I will ostracize. Oh, please. Get married and die already. Get out. I said, get out. I don't want to see you again. Don't ever come here again. Get out. The feeling is moving. I said, get out. You can die already. You and I know you are nowhere near my plans. Who does she even think she is? We respect you so much because of the relationship you share with the prince. And what business do you have with my relationship with the prince? Are you by any chance trying to ruin my relationship with the prince with your cost influence? We are very sorry, Ola Mary, but... You are very stupid to address me as just Ola Mary. Are we mates? I am the coming queen of Ugwaji kingdom and fools like you should never forget that. Even the queen mother herself, in all her majesty, she have never called us fools. Why are you doing this? And the queen mother just last week told us that we've been excellent with our services. <laughs> Wait a minute, you lousy mates that do nothing other than gossip and eat in the palace. <laughs> are you insinuating that I don't know what I'm saying? Why are you telling me what anyone said? Please, what do you want to eat so we can go and get it immediately? Get out. <laughs> if I close and open my eyes and you are still here, I will slap you silly!
bunch of fools. Your Majesty, you sent for me. I wonder why you chose to come to the palace today to torment the maids. Is Her Majesty speaking for the maids? How lucky. They are servants after all. And they are here to serve. My needs must be met. That's what they live for. Well, I'm Mary. It takes more than wearing the crown to be a queen. Why is my queen worried about my competence? When we know I may not last long enough to wear the crown. I could be a sacrifice for all we know. Stop talking nonsense and see if you can get acquainted with what royalty entails. Here, my handsome son, the Prince of Uwaji, the King in waiting. Sit with your mom. You know, whenever I see you, I beam with joy. Mother, please stop. Stop the eulogies. I am tired of what I see and hear. I mean, everyone is keeping secrets. Tell me, mother. Tell me honestly. You know of the curse that leads to the death of the first bride of the king. Are you willing to watch Ola maybe die? Son, you have to get married to someone first. Whether the person dies or leaves should not be your concern. Leave that to the elders. You ne you've never liked her. You've always wanted a funaya for me. Yes. And because of the cause, you approved of her while you prepare funaya as bride number two. Were you really planning all this? Son, whatever I am doing is for your own good. You don't even love her. Does she love you? Mm. What all Amiri and her mother care about is becoming royalty. Does it matter? Does it matter whether or not I love her? Mother, no one must die. Like I told Father, you should look for a solution to this curse before my marriage because no one else must die. Someone has to pay the price. You're saying this because you don't understand. You, you think Life is a bed of roses. Even if it were sunny, there are no roses without thorns. My friend. You look worried. Are you okay? Listen, I'm your best friend. You can always talk to me. I will definitely give a solution. No, you can't, my dear. Do you know about the curse? Because everyone seems to know except me. I only got to know about it recently. 
At first I thought it was a rumor. But after going through the history of the lineage, I discovered only the second bride rose. I am not getting married. I am not getting married if someone has to die. Except a confirmed solution is provided. My prince, my prince, are you willing to abandon everybody and this kingdom because of one woman? Are you willing to do that? You never can tell. Maybe there's a woman out there who is willing to sacrifice her life for this kingdom. Are you willing to do that? Can you give your life for this kingdom? Mm -hmm. Ah! Get doing the doing the ya. Mama, unjuare re. Eh, I don't see ele maya. My condition has not just to stay by my side. I don't want to achieve anything for myself. So if your mother stop complaining, stop. You are the only family I have. You are my priority. I think I need to engage the service of a stronger medical man. He said your condition is too bad for you. You have a new guest. You have a new German person. So thank you. Grandmother, don't worry. I will use the land as a collateral. Don't worry, I will make sure I get it back. Everything will be fine. I need to come up. Uh. Is it ever possible for one to come visit you and meet you, Shefo? Why are you killing yourself? How can I be Shefo? How? When my grandmother is still sick. <laughs> Do you know I don't even have enough money to call the recommended medicine man? I don't have any money in me. Your grandmother is still sick? Oh. How is that possible? Okay, now you know why I've not been Shefo. Do you know I had to give my land out as a collateral to the nice money lenders? I'm telling you, I had to do that because I don't have enough money. <laughs> I don't know what I will do to pay back, but they said they will give me the money if only they can verify the land that I gave to them. So they can give me the money. Oh, Lama, why do you have to go this far? <laughs> I heard the money lenders of Ugwaji are very dangerous and they can kill because of their money if the borrower fails to pay back in due time. What do you want me to do? What? <laughs> Ola Mary, you are getting married to the prince very soon who can give you everything you want, apart from the royal wealth that belongs to him as the prince. I heard he has also made a lot of money from farming. All that glitters is no good. The prince may love me, but I'm after his wealth and power, that which he's willing to give. <clears throat> I really pity the prince. I mean, how can he be getting married to a woman who doesn't love him? That is pathetic. The prince is not as innocent and great as you think. He can do anything to protect the throne. Uh, uh, don't even ask me what it means, because I'm not ready to answer. Please, please, 
Please bear with me. Just give me a little time. Please. How can I get the money if I don't work? My grandmother is still very ill. I cannot leave her in the house. Please, I just give me small time. I will pay you back your money. Who cares? And I that my business. I'm asking you. Maybe you've forgotten. Let me remind you. You gave your land as a collateral for three weeks. The three weeks is gone. You have just two days. Two more days to pay me my money and the interest. Otherwise, you forfeit your land. Please have mercy. Please. Please, I'm begging you. Please. In fact, the money you even gave to me is still even not enough. Please, I'm begging you. Just, just small. Okay, give me one more week. I promise I will work and I will give you that money back. Please. I've told you. Two days! Two days. I look out for that beautiful daughter of mine that must reign as a queen in Ugwaji kingdom. And I can't find her. Why are you looking so withdrawn? Mother, have you not been following the happenings in the palace? A date has been fixed for the royal pronouncement that will see me live with the prince for a minimum of three weeks in one compound. And you're bothered about that? Cheer up, my child. You have a mother that can be trusted. I'm still trying to trust you, mother. You've not come up with any solution and time is not on our side. I'm suggesting we just walk away from this. Never. I am a winner. I win always. Winners don't give up. Listen, for us to win this game, someone has to be sacrificed. But that person is not you. So who is that person? Who, mother? How will you even convince anyone to die for another? How? When money talks, impossible things become possible. Think. Settle down and think, my dear. There must be someone who is in need of money. That person could be approved with a crooked offer. Anything is possible from there. Mother, how are you? Are you finished? Hmm? Oh, mother, why are you doing this? Why? You need to eat something. You can't continue to do this, grandmother. You must eat, at least have something in your stomach. I have nothing. My body is growing weak. That is the reason you must eat. You cannot continue to take your medicine on an empty stomach. Mama, Mama. After spending so much, I skin the land. I still can't get it. Why not leave me to die? You will not die. You will not go anywhere. Grandmother, please stop talking like this. Please. I don't mind. I will try and get money any way I can. Please. I will save as much as I can save to get Akbu Godi Habali. Grandmother, please stop talking like this. Please. You have suffered so much. I know, but you will not die. You will not die. Please. <laughs>
after 29 years, you still have her in your memory. Your Majesty, I have been with you in good and bad times. Yet you still have her in your heart. Lolo Cicely, I appreciate the wonderful position you have occupied in my life. I thank you so much for what you have been doing. You have been a noble woman, no doubt about that, but I am sorry. No woman can replace her memory in my heart. I am the mother of your son, the heir to the throne. She was my first love. She married me even when she knew about the curse. No, no. She sacrificed her life for our love. How many women can do that? And you stand here expecting me to wipe her memory off just like that? I can't. You know, I, I can't. No wonder you will always treat me as a second fiddle. I'm sorry. Sincerely, I am sorry, but there is nothing I can do about it. Son, I called you to find out how you are preparing for your engagement. Or are you still disturbed about the frivolity you were discussing with me the other day? Father sincerely, left for me alone, I won't even get married at all. Why? I want to ask you a question, Father. Okay. And I want you to give me an honest answer. Where there is no king who is worth his throne, that will tell a lie. On that note, I will ask you to go ahead. Ask me whatever question you want to ask me, and I will tell you exactly what I know. All right, then. Did she know about the curse? Your first bride? Yes. She knew about it. In fact, I tried everything possible to dissuade her from getting married to me because I never wanted her to die. But she insisted. She insisted that she would be fine even if she ends up being my wife for just one night. She gave her life for our love. Do you have someone like that? I mean, someone you love. And someone who loves you genuinely and is ready to die for the love. Do you? I don't think so, Father. In fact, I, I, I can't tell. Uh, listen, son. There were doubts about our love. The same doubt you have now. Yes, we had the same doubt about our own love. But everything changed the very moment she decided to give her life for the love. Do you love her? My mother, the queen, I mean. Do you, do you love her at all? Yeah, of course. I love her absolutely. And I appreciate her efforts. I appreciate her for what she has done, not just for me. But for the royal family, I can confirm to you authoritatively that she has been the reason my reign has been very successful so far. I am praying and hoping that you will find someone like that that will stand by you as your queen when eventually you become the king of Uwaje Kingdom. I know you can find her. Eye of the gods, you are welcome. You requested that I come. Uh, what does the king want? I want to break this curse that has been lingering in the royal household. 
I am certain you know of the cause. The cause that befalls the first bride to any heir to the throne of Ugwa the kingdom. Look at my son here. He is scheduled to be the next king of this kingdom. And he is planning to be married. I don't want him to pass through the same pain I have been passing through. That's why I called him. How do we break this cause to prevent his first bride dying in the first night of marriage as it has always been the case? Hmm. Um, Your Majesty, I have to go back to the gods and consult them. I cannot speak of my own volition now. Else, I will be struck down by lightning. Hmm. I will definitely come back to you when I must have heard from them. Hmm. I of the gods, we are putting our absolute trust in you for solution to this. Please. No one else has to die. Ho! Oh, oh. Ho! Mm -hmm. Why have you asked me to meet you here? Are you afraid of the palace? No. I have no fear for the palace. Okay. I called you over here due to the sensitive nature of what I'll be discussing with you. The walls of the palace have ears. I want to tread with caution. All right then, go on, I'm listening. I have an idea. And I hope you grant me this request. If you truly love me, I want to spend the rest of your life with me. All right. I want to bring in someone that will pose as your fiancé. Get married to you before I come in. And who is this person? And what makes you feel this person will be willing? Because she's in grave need of money. And she will agree to do anything to get the money. She will be paying her a huge sum of money. Okay then. I will agree to this arrangement on one condition. That you will tell her about the royal curse. <laughs> and if she decides to gamble with her life. I mean. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, my love. You're welcome. To the best of my knowledge, you are getting married to the prince in three weeks. Why are you angry? I mean, you're not looking excited. What is it? I know I'm not excited. That's because I have a problem. I actually came to you because you're the only one I can trust with this. All I'm you are my best friend. Just tell me anything you want me to do for you. In fact, consider it done. What is it? I just discovered that I have a very important ritual to perform in my maternal home before I settle down with a man. A ritual that will last for at least one month. I understand. I mean, I understand that different families perform different rituals to ensure the happiness of their daughters in their matrimonial home. How do I involve myself in that? I'll be away for one month. I want you to step in the gap for me. I don't want any other maiden to come near my prince. You are my friend and I trust you. Please, I want you to date my fiance in my state. For this one month I'll be away. I've talked to him. He's going to pay you more than enough to settle your debts. Are you crazy? Are you under the influence of something? And I did the prince agree to this your mad suggestion? He would do anything to make me happy. Yes, 
We discussed about it and we've agreed to pay you heavily for this. I am confused. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm not expecting you to give me an immediate response. I want you to go home and think about it. You can do this. At least it will help you settle your debts. <laughs> Mama? Mama, guess what? Mama, you look so happy. Did something good happen? Yes, Mama, yes. Do you know somebody has promised to pay off the loan? <laughs> not just that though, not just that. He said he will pay the herbalist to come and treat you very well. Mama, I told you. I told you everything will be fine. No, Mama. Mama. What is that? And what will you do to be given such money? Mama, it's the prince. Yes. Um, Ola Mary wants me to go to the palace and act as the prince's fiancée for some time. Mm -hmm. Because she wants to go to her maternal home. I think she's just feeling insecure. She wants me to drive all those girls away. Mama, don't worry. Everything will be fine. I told you. You will be very fine soon. Mama, Mama, Mama. Are you sure you want to do this? I think you need that help. Mama, everything will be fine. I will be fine with this morning. This time, Ola Mary is my baby. She's always having my back, so I want to help her. I sincerely hope you're sure of this. Yes. I don't want you to get so hurt. I would want fine. you to regret in future. I will not get anything. Else. She comes, my one trusted friend who will never be changed anything in the world. <laughs> um, listen, listen, Uloma, in my next life, I'll still want to be a friend. Come and sit. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Does it mean you're not looking at her properly? Oloma is not looking very bright. Um, Mama, I'm fine. I actually came to see my friend. I didn't know you'd be around. I'm actually surprised to see you here. Ola Mary told me she has bothered you once again. You're a very good friend of my daughter. Thank you. I was angry with her for coming to trouble you with such requests. You know, Anna Mary is my very good friend, and I'm ready to do anything for her. Besides, she said she will pay the debts I owe, and I am very grateful for the kind gestures. <laughs> so, what are you saying, my friend? Are you going to help me? I thought you should have figured it out from the response I gave your mother. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I you. promise you, you won't regret this. Your expression suggests you have good news. <laughs> yes, I do. Ulomo, my friend, agreed to the terms. <laughs> and did you tell her about the curse? Yes, I did. She doesn't believe in the existence of the ghost or the curse. <laughs> she is willing as long as we are ready to give her enough money to take care of her grandmother. <laughs> well, the money I'll pay is not a problem. As far as she's doing this from her heart, I'm good. <laughs> so just go ahead and figure out how to break the news to your father. Oloma is good to go. <laughs> hmm. I know what to tell my father. <laughs> Obiora, you called us out. Can you please explain what is going on? And what is she doing before the throne? 
Thank you, Father. I called this meeting to formally tell you all that Ola, Mary, and I have broken up. What? And I'm engaged with Loma here. Hold on, hold on. Is the royal marriage some kind of stick game you toy with? What do you mean, break up with all I mean? We had a disagreement and came to a compromise that we cannot get married. Love my hair is the one I love and want to make my wife. And I want you all to support me in that. The ugly duckling has been transformed into a swan. Well, as expected, my bride is beautiful. Hmm? Son, are you sure about that? <laughs> Marriage is not something you toy with. Mother, please do not embarrass my fiancé. She's doing everything she can to fit into royalty. <coughs> She's beautiful. And I know you can confirm that by yourself. I don't know why it took me so long to notice. Well, for now, I would love to show her around the palace. Go ahead, sir. Thank you, Father. To her aunt. Please. Your Majesty, are you going to approve of this? What? Obiora is about to make the greatest mistake of his life. He's about to make a mockery of the marriage process. We need to call him to order. No, I don't think we should. A man who is getting married must be left with the responsibility of choosing who can live with him. Your Majesty, by that, are you trying to say that Olamiri is considered a maiden who cannot live with her husband? My husband, that girl has stayed with us all these years. And we need to compel our son to get married to her. No, I don't think so. Did she come? to tell you that she was having issues with the prince. She did not. That means she was not even committed to the marriage process. We have to allow him settle with the one who has shown commitment to that process. And that, to the best of my knowledge, is the one that just left with him. Please. Well, so far I have seen that you are really committed to this process. Thank you very much for accepting to do this. Why are you acting like I'm doing something extraordinary? I am doing this for my best friend and for the prince of my land. Of course, I agree with you completely. But you see, Ulama. Do not forget that this is just an act. So you don't have to expend too much energy on it. Have you forgotten that I am being paid for this? Allow me to do my job to the best of my ability. I don't want anybody to suspect anything. It's okay then. So, how are you? Good. Well, do not fail to come to me if you need anything. Anytime, I mean. Okay, thank you very much. I have delegated someone to take care of your mother. And from the reports, she's responding positively to treatment. Mm. Now this is a relief. Thank you so much, my friends. Thank you. You're always welcome. <laughs> You 
Highness. No, Highness. you're not allowed to be here. Uh, we are here to serve you. Please go back to your room and relax while we do the whole chest. I know. I'm already being pampered by you all. And if I continue like this, I'll become so spoiled. I don't want to be lazy. Please. Okay, I promise I won't overwork myself. You are so nice. You are very kind. Not oh, like someone that used to come here saying, I don't want to come here next time to place others. Because I don't want to smell like a fish. Oh, la, or whatsoever you call yourself. <laughs> and she said that I should not expect her to show me because she doesn't want to ruin her nails. That I, I should do everything that she wants because I was born to serve. How I hate her. I'm so glad she left this palace. Yes. Please don't talk about anybody like that. She's a nice person. I'm sure if you get to know her very well, you will like her. Your Highness, you certainly do not know who we're talking about. Don't know her. She is like the devil. And trust me, nobody wants to associate with her in this palace. <laughs> Must you always patrol nothing around this palace? We do not. Uh, who are you? Uh, am I the one you are okay. You really talking to me? You will do not. What, what, what nonsense is that? Who gave you the right to open that gutter you called your mouth to talk to me? In that parlor? As far as this palace is concerned, I am the chief security. I say, and you obey. I don't care what I want. No, who gave you the right to, 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 to talk to me like that? Or have I suddenly been ostracized by an idiot like you? I have the right to move everywhere. I don't know if I'm around. Who gave me the power? Idiot! idiot. <laughs> it is high time I reported you to the king and tell him how you nose around the whole palace. Fine! Good! Yes! Because I've been looking for a way to bring to the king's knowledge that I'm supposed to be one of the members of the council. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what, what is it? Am I, am I not old enough to be the, one of the elders? <laughs> No, Paula. A stupid man like you cannot whine and die with the castle of hell. You idiot! You idiot! All you do in this palace is to eat. Whatever that comes, one day you will explode. I'm just waiting for that day that you will explode. Wah! And you will be gone. I know if you are going to put for one day. No, no, tell me! Is that enough reason to keep an innocent woman in the dark just because she needs help? No, tell me! Eh? What sort of dark? That minds the way have in this palace. Huh? Oh, I pity the end that always justifies the means. I know if you're wrong, I'm going to one day. Idiot! What was he talking about? My highness, don't mind that stupid man that always vomit nonsense from his mouth. He can never be among the elders. If you don't mind. Um, I can still check. Just go in there. Okay. My queen, you sent for me. Hello, ma. My queen. I recognize the fact that you're from an impoverished family. Can't you step up a little bit to enjoy some comfort? Um, I'm still trying to understand what my queen is trying to tell me. Have I done anything wrong? Maybe? Yes! You have done everything wrong! Must you go into the kitchen with the maids? Don't you realize you're a queen to be? If you keep doing that, you will be disrespecting yourself. Uh, not just yourself, the prince. And the entire palace will be brought to ridicule. I am sorry, my queen. My grandmother told me that if you have to enjoy a meal, you have to be part of the preparation. I, I just couldn't sit down there, watch them prepare the meal without helping them. Please forgive me, my queen. <sighs> it is a total waste of my time trying to talk to you. I guess a leopard does not change its spots. Get out of my presence. Um, 
I am very shy, Your Majesty. Why are you shy? You are sitting before the king. Why must you be shy? I know. It's just that I'm surprised I'm sitting with the king alone. Well, Uloma, I called you to ask you a specific question. And I want you to give me a specific answer. Because whatever answer you are going to provide will form the basis of whatever stand I will take on this matter. Um, I am ready to answer, my king. Ask me anything, Your Highness. I want you to remember you are sitting before the king, before the throne. Therefore, you must not lie. Um, I have never lied, Your Majesty. I won't start now. Okay. Do you love my son? Yes, I love your son, my, your highness. I love him so much, I always want to make him smile. But sometimes he looks, he looks sad, like he's carrying a heavy burden on his shoulders. And I want to help him lift that burden. I really love your son, your majesty. <laughs> I am so glad hearing you say those beautiful words. Indeed, I am very excited. <laughs> I feel excitement in the air. So tell me, what is it about? There are maidens employed to work in this palace. And to the best of my knowledge, they are doing their job exceedingly well. Uloma, why won't you allow them to do their job? Why are you acting as if you are here just to serve me? Have I done anything wrong, my friends? Yes. Uloma, why wake up early in the morning to prepare breakfast for me? Uh, my friends, I don't see anything wrong in that. You are the one I am supposed to get married to. I don't see anything wrong in waking up in the morning to prepare breakfast for you while you are still in bed. Is there anything wrong in that? Please don't stop me. Please. Loma, stop talking like this. Are you by any means trying to tell me that what you told my father yesterday was true? I have never lied. And I will not lie to the king. I meant every single word. So you mean you don't mind marrying me, despite what is at stake? What do you mean by, despite what is at stake? What is at stake? Oju, standing before the throne gives us the final assurance that you are the one who gave your daughter the approval to commence this marriage process with the prince. Yes or no? She has convinced me beyond doubt that she loves the prince. She's willing to be submissive to him as his wife. What else? Your Majesty, you can go ahead and make the declaration. Hey, and Council. As we can see, we have come to the successful end of this process. And as you can see, it is successful. In few weeks from now, Oloma here will be joined in marriage with the prince. And as we have come to the end of this betrothal process, it simply means that she is now permitted to stay here in the palace until the marriage proper. In the bike when? Yeah. In the bike when? Yeah. In the bike when zone. My heart has fallen for you. Your love is all that I see. How is my fiance? The prince is fine, always showing the qualities of a great man. Olamu, you made the right choice. I know. 
That is why I'm showing a lot of commitment towards the success of the mandatory ritual. I want to be a perfect wife for him. And I am glad to hear that. The royal pronouncement was successful. And the date of the marriage has been fixed. When are you coming to take your position? Why are you sounding as if you're no longer my childhood friend I could trust so much? Olamiri, I am still that your friend. You know you can trust me with your life. But we have to be real here. I am tired. Please come back to the palace and take your position. Come and take your position. Let me live my life the way I used to. If I come back and marry the prince without completing my marriage ritual, my marriage with the prince will not last. Do you want that to be my fate? So what do you want me to do? Complete what you've started. You stood in for me in the royal declaration. Also stand in for me during the marriage. I will come back after the ritual. I will. Why are you asking for the impossible? Uloma, it's not the impossible. It is what you do for a friend. I will pay you more. Just do this, please. Please, my friend. The marriage is close. It's time to get back to what it should be. Reach out to Allah Mary. Let her come and claim her rightful position. You're tired of my presence already. I know you cannot wait for things to go back to the way they were. Don't worry. I will be gone before you know it. I am trying my best to bring Allah Mary back. That's it. You are getting all this twisted. You're a good, kind, and loving girl. In fact, at this point, this whole thing looks so real to me. You think I'll feel very comfortable just letting you walk away? I am not selfish, my prince. I cannot take Olamiri's dead. I told her yesterday to come back and marry her man, but she said I should go ahead and marry you. Ola Mary said that to you? Yes. This is unbelievable. It's obvious she never cared for me. Do you know she didn't bother to ask after me all through this period? Well then, if that is what she wants, then let the game continue. I am not playing any game with you. You just said it now. This is beginning to look so real to me. You just said that now. If I am getting married to you, I am getting married to you for real. Not minding what is at stake. Not minding the risk involved in getting married to me. What risk? What risk is there in marrying my prince? to be here. Oh, oh, I forgot. You are fake. A pretender. An imposter. Yes, that is what you are. And why are you insulting me? Why bring out such words from your mouth? Oh, quit the pretense. Because you are the one to get hot in this game. I mean, how can you be so dumb? To sacrifice your life for Allah Mary. Can you explain to me in clearer terms what you mean? Because I don't understand what you are talking about. Why should I sacrifice my life? Please, stop playing dumb. Do you want me to remind you of the royal curse? The one where the first bride to the heir dies? Oh, your countenance shows that of one being deceived by Allah Mary. Wait. She didn't tell you? Well, 
since she didn't tell you, I will. Your friend, Ola Mary, brought you here to die in her place. So that she can come back as the second bride and leave. So this is what is at stake. This is what I've been hearing. No, no, tell me! Is that enough reason to keep an innocent woman in the dark just because she needs help? No, tell me! Huh? What sort of dark, dark minds do we have in this palace? Huh? I pity the end that always justifies the means. Listen, the prince is already in love with you. Listen, I want you to convince your friend to come back as the first bride who will marry the prince and die so that you can come in as the second bride and leave. Why are you looking so worried? Sit. Thank you, Your Majesty. Is it because of the childish game Olamiri just initiated? Your Majesty, are you saying it's not enough reason for me to be worried? I mean, I'm sure innocent Uloma does not know what mischievous Olamiri has planned out. She wants the innocent girl to die in her place so that she can come in as the second bride and leave. I know everything, my dear Ifonanya. I'm sure her mother is part of the plot because she said it to my face that her daughter must become the queen without paying any price. Your Majesty, and you are relaxed about it. I mean, wh where does that leave me? How does that guarantee my stay in the palace? You must stop, Olamiri. I want you to relax your mind, okay? Because the table has turned in our favor. The prince just broke up with Ola Mary. Therefore, she is no longer a candidate for the position of the queen in the palace. Loma is just a humble sacrifice. Right now, we are a step ahead of them. From the way you spoke last time, I have been wondering if you were not told the whole story before coming here. Ola Mary did not tell you about the curse, did she? Um, Ola Mary did not tell me anything about any curse. No, she didn't tell me anything. I guess she lied to me. Of course. She betrayed your friendship. Listen, Oloma. You don't have to see this through to the end. Oloma, you can quit now. Quit and run for your life. The game is over. What if I don't want to quit? What if I don't want to run? What if I want to see this till the end? Come on, Oloma. Are you trying to be brave here or stupid? I will not forgive myself if you die as a result of the curse. Because I have fallen in love with you completely. My heart has fallen for you. Your love is all that I see. This must be true love. Yes, I am sure. I might be wrong, but it's your majesty. Listen for me. No matter what they say. Guards, 
Majesty, Your Majesty. I have decided mm. to give you my heart alone, alone. It is amazing how you have transformed from that shy lady who was unable to look at me in the eyes to the one that is boldly standing before the king. You shine so brightly. Look at your smile. The light around you can light in a dark room. You glow. Indeed, you sparkle. It is my utmost wish that you live long to shine and sparkle even further. Your words will definitely make me shine even brighter. Um, if I may ask, why is your majesty eulogizing me? I called you to discuss with you one on one. I am sure you must have heard about the curse. The, the royal curse. Listen, my dear. You don't have to be brave about this. You don't have to pity anyone. Do not even bother yourself with what people may say. I called you because you need to know that this is a matter of life and death. I want you to run now that you still have your legs. Run. Don't even look back. I am sorry, I am not going anywhere. I don't even have anywhere to go. I am here and I am ready to stay. I will stick to my prince. I'm not ready to leave him. My prince, you don't look happy. Our wedding is barely three days from now, and you're not looking happy. Have you developed cold feet? Or do you think I don't fit enough to be your bride? Do you think the royal curse is a joke? Walk away. Please walk away now that you can. I don't want to live all my life in regrets. I don't care anymore. I don't. As long as I live to be your bride for just one night, I will die in peace. I have always loved you. Even when I was a kid. Even when you chose Olamiri, I still loved you. Now I have the opportunity to be your bride for just one night. Please. Let me show you how much I love you. Even if it's just a night. Please. Mama, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you because I will not survive it. And that is my fear. Let us walk. Let us walk towards making that night a memorable one for the rest of our lives. The marriage must hold in two days from now. It must. But if you want to back out, now is the time. Father, our mind is made up. We must proceed with the marriage. So you are confirming to me that she is willing to stake her life. For the union. She reminds me so much of my first wife. She loved me. And she still loves me, even in death. Am I not being weak? 
agreeing to go ahead with the marriage, even when I know she will die afterwards. Father, is that not an act of wickedness? Obi Ora, that is not an act of wickedness. It is not. It is now a routine occurrence in the royal house. Listen, what you have to do. Go ahead and marry her. Even when she dies, her memory will live with you as you reign as king. Her memories will stay with you just like the memories of my first bride have stayed with me ever since. No matter what happens, sir, you will never meet a woman like that again. Never. They come once in the last time. I thought we were going to return after the marriage ceremony. I came to get information as it unfolds. Please tell me, is there any news from the palace? No. The marriage is tomorrow. They are making it private so that the bride's death will not bring so much criticism on the royal household. But tell me, are you sure Oloma is still not aware of the cause? It's surprising. Not with the maids and guards in the palace always talking about it. Maybe she must have seen it as a baseless story. Whichever way, luck is on my side. If she hears it and still decides to go ahead with it, He's either stupid or cursed. Anyway, listen. You must remain indoors until the marriage rite is over. You are right, mother. She must not know that I have returned. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, Your Highness. Yes. Thank you. And how is the latest bride to be feeling? Great. I just cannot wait for tomorrow. This is a perfect weather. You are a very nice person. And the way the prince treats you, I think he loves you. But must you die? Can't you walk away? No wonder they say good people hardly last. Are you not scared of dying? I love the print. Living my life without the print is... It's meaningless to me. But if I get married to the print for just one night, and I die in the process, I will die a happy woman. No, you girls should stop trying to discourage her. This is the true meaning of love. To live for and to die for. Now you girls can leave us. What will I do? Oh, yes. Who will help me? The world is turning against me. Situation is getting more difficult. My daughter, Grandma, tomorrow will be the happiest day of my life. The day my only granddaughter, Oluwa Mama, will get married. Grandmother, I am getting married. I can't believe I'm getting married. Hmm. Why are you telling me as if I lost my memory? I know. And I will be there to witness it. As you can see, I am already preparing your favorite Oluwa soup. And I will bring it for you. No, my mama. Grandmother. Why are you lost in thought? Are you sure I'll be able to have access to you again? I miss you, Grandmother. My daughter. Why are you sounding as one that is traveling to a land of no return? Please, my dear. Don't scare your mother with words. This is a period of merriment. And from tomorrow, you will be addressed as your highness. 
come, come to your mother. It's okay, stop crying. We are here to celebrate a wonderful achievement. The prince, Andu Loma, his betrothed, has now lived in one compound for three weeks. As our tradition demands concerning the marriage of the prince, the heir to the throne. And within this period, they have shown commitment towards their love and their union. As a king and as a father, I have monitored them closely and I can attest to the fact that they love one another. And I know they will make a wonderful couple. <laughs> Therefore, sitting on the throne of my fathers, and in line with the tradition of this kingdom, as it concerns the marriage of the prince. <laughs> I here declare them, husband and wife. <laughs> you are blessed on the Ekemake Day. Yes, it shall be well with you on Ori Market Day. Yes, it shall be well with you on a for market day. And it shall be well with you on a poor market day. How are you feeling, my lovely wife? Lovely. My prince and my husband. <laughs> How lovely it is calling you my husband. I can't believe I would be having you for just one night. I don't know how I will survive. Don't talk like this, please. <sighs> this is not the time to mourn me. It is the time to make memories together. Living as your wife for just one night is a dream come true. And I will never regret it. I love you. Well then, what are we waiting for? The night is short. Let's make those memories together. You are here to take your humble servant. I am ready. You can take me. 
You are very brave and fearless, even in the face of death. I want to ask you for a favor. Please, I want you to help me protect my prince. Keep him safe from evil women who love him for selfish gains. Please. You really love him. A pure and selfless love. It is a waste for a good woman like you to die. Don't you think so? If for marrying my prince I am destined to die, I am ready. You can take me. I have made up my mind already. Congratulations. It is morning already. Um, what do you mean by that? You have passed the royal test. The cost does not exist. It was fabricated to test true love. Every woman wants to marry the king for their personal gains, like prestige, wealth, rise in status, not to mention the crown. You have proven that true love exists, despite material desires and gains. You will not die, but live to enjoy your true love. Once more, congratulations. That means she's gone. They've taken her. Everyone knows it's not my fault. I tried my best to stop this. Oh, poor girl. She's gone. Oh. I didn't die. I didn't die in my life. What are you doing here? When you are supposed to be with the king, your husband. I thought the curse will kill me. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about it because I thought you were going to stop me. I knew about the curse. It was never real. That was the reason I did not stop you from marrying him. The curse does not exist, but the ghost does. Grandmother, you knew about the curse and you never told me. How come you knew about the curse? Several years ago, I was the first bride to King Ojemba. The very first one who was thought to have died mysteriously. Beloved, 
Do you still believe in the existence of the ghost? I don't know what to say, my husband. Several people have confirmed that actually the ghost existed and lived in the palace. So, you believe the rumor is true? You believe you are going to die? You believe you are a sacrifice to the ghost? I saw the ghost, but she didn't kill me. She always shows herself to the first brides because she has guarded the palace for many generations. Grandmother, how come everybody believed that first bride was sacrificed? I did not to my love. I was married off to King Ojemba because of the prevalent poverty in my family. But living with a man out of love is worse than poverty. So I added a substance in his drink that made him sleep and ran away with my lover. The curse, my daughter, never existed. It was only there to promote true love in the royal house. Congratulations, my daughter. Your love for the prince is true and pure. Congratulations, your love has won. When I woke up and you were not lying beside me anymore, I felt very bad. I believed the ghost had taken you. And I have been mourning since then. What happened to you? I mean, where did you go? My prince, the curse does not exist. It was merely fabricated to test true love. I don't understand. I mean, what do you mean by that? I came face to face with the ghost. She said it's, it's, it's a total waste for somebody like me to die. She said congratulations, that I have passed the test, that I should go ahead with my marriage. Are you trying to pull my legs with this information? I mean, how is that even possible? The fact that I am standing here with you should tell you that I am telling you the truth. She said it is morning, and then I realized it was morning. That was when I went to meet my grandmother. My love, I am back. I am here for you. And I will love you forever. Is this not the happiest day of my life? I mean, this is the best news I have ever heard. Come here. <laughs> See? I'll let the royal heads know about this. I believe the day will come when you will ignore me. What do you want? Have I not told you not to show up your face again? We are not friends and we can never be. Don't be too full of yourself. We just happen to have a common interest. 
the crown. Uloma did not die. You miscalculated. A lifetime mistake that cannot be reversed with the passage of time. So, what will you do? You shouldn't be bothered about me. Think about yourself while I do same for myself. Uloma is the biggest threat. So I advise we come together and deal with her. And who becomes the choice for the second wife that will leave? Both of us will fight to become the bride after Uloma is out. <laughs> Very wise and crafty. I would prefer we fight for the crown individually. In your dreams, will I team up with a fool like you? Get lost! Oh, let's see how it goes then. Rubbish. after the marriage and she's still alive. Everyone is saying she's a true bride. That was why she escaped death. Others say only true love can break the cross. What a joke. She is not the right person for the prince. I placed her there. I lent her my status. And it's time for her to return it. You know, the whole situation is making me laugh. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Whether we like it or not, Uloma will be crowned queen in a few weeks. Whatever we need to do to return things the way it should be, we must do now. She already agreed to die the day she stood there and exchanged vows with the prince. And I, Olamiri, will make that course come true. <gasps> Uloma, you are as good as dead. Your Highness, the one with the blessing of the gods, you sent for me and I humble myself before you. You are welcome. Thank you. Something tells me you are not just a god. There is something special about you. Can you tell me about it? <coughs> well, my name is Adwan. Don't mind the people that insult me by calling me Adwan. Eh? I'm just a palace guard who aspires to be one of the decision makers of this kingdom. Eh? That's all. Nothing else. The other day you barged in on us in the kitchen. You said something. I was confused then because nobody explained anything to me. Now I understand what you meant. <laughs> By every standard, Your Highness, you are a good woman. When I look at you, all I see around you is light. That's why I knew you would not die. <laughs> I am so glad you survived. <laughs> Don't worry. By the time the prince and I assume positions as king and queen, I will plead with my husband to make you the owner. Eh? One who? <laughs> Let me dance for you. <laughs> That's why they call me Ajanu. <laughs> you see? Am I might not vindicated? Hey! I am going to be the owner of this kingdom. <laughs> Listen, no evil shall locate you. <laughs> okay. um, call the mates for me. We need to take over. It's all right. You see that idiot, Ulilia, Malupia for that idiot that eats everything. <laughs>
you both are useless. The princess was in danger and all you could think of was to run away for your useless lives. No loyalty. No sense of duty at all. What nonsense! My prince, the kidnappers were armed. And so what? And the one that came after us came with a sharp looking machete with all intention to kill. We had no option than to run away. You had no choice but to run away, right? Now listen to me. Just pray. Pray that nothing happens to my wife. And hey, you. Make sure you bring my wife back to this palace in safety. Okay, my prince. Even if it means turning this kingdom upside down, bring my wife back! Yes, my prince. Yes, my prince. I, 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 I have a problem. No, I have a serious problem. When did kidnapping start in this kingdom where I reign as the king? When? But, but you, you have to calm down. Calm down and understand that the gods are not asleep. Nothing will happen to your wife. Just sit down. Hey! Leave! Leave! She has been wakened by the leaves from Une. And she will remain like this until sunset. What do you want us to do? This is the pauper. The fool that betrayed me. I introduced her to royalty. But she finally made up her mind to take what belongs to me. Kill her. Cut her body into pieces of meat and pour it into the river for hungry crocodiles. Hola, Miri. Is this not a harsh way for anyone to die? We will kill her, but let's just kill her and leave her remains. At least her family should see something to bury. Do not suggest anything to me, for you know nothing. The ghost was supposed to kill her, but the useless ghost refused to do so. Kill her and get rid of her body. Like I said, people will believe that she was killed by the ghost. No problem. Are we going to kill this innocent girl? How do you know she's innocent? Didn't you hear what she did? She dies. Give me the knife. Guy, I'm out of this. What do you do? Ah! I just told you now is exactly what happened. I'm out of here. How could this be? How could this be? How do I end this betrayer? Oh. I know you're the one. If anything happens to my wife, I swear by the gods, you will not leave to tell the story of the misfortune that will befall you. We are in this together. All of my is fake. I hired her. We paid her. Don't you think it's time we both end what you started? It is too late, Olamri. That was before I married her. Now listen, I love her very much. The game is up. Back up before you get hot. You are wrong. It can't be over until I say so. I initiated this game and I decide when it ends. My timely intervention saved her, my king. I walked in when they were about killing her. I believe they have used something deadly on her. I have no option than to go on one of them down. What is your name? I am Okafo, a hunter of Ugaichi Kingdom. Okafo, I want to thank you for this wonderful thing you have done for the royal family. Be assured that you will be compensated and family. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Mother, I believe you have heard all the happenings in the palace. What do you think? And how come the wife my son married has not died? That is because the curse does not exist. It was actually a story fabricated to attract true love to the royal household. No, mother. No, mother, you can't say that. Have you forgotten the first bride? I mean, the one before me. She died mysteriously as a result of the curse. Please forgive me, my daughter. I'm not happy or proud to admit what I'm about to tell you. But I did it all for you to change your life and status. I killed the first bride. I was upset that she did not die even after hearing the story of the curse that made me discourage you from marrying the king at that time. But she loved the king and married him, not minding if she dies. And she lived after all. I am so glad that I finally ended up as your first bride. Mm -hmm. Nobody gave me the chance, but as it pleases the gods, I am here. And you may never know how delighted I am hearing you say that. <laughs> Because of what you just did, I have a wonderful gift for you. Something I am so sure you will like. <laughs> I can't wait. Just wait for me. have done that. I feel so filthy wearing this crown, knowing that it was acquired through murder. Please, forgive me. I did it so that you can enjoy the life that you are living now. No, mother. There should have been another way of going, going about it. Do you know I am now paying for your sins? I am living a life of misery, a life of uncertainty, a life without love. Mother, you should have done that without shedding blood. Oh. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please. 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 What a confession. Well, let me ask you, Mother. Why did you elect to make this confession now? Forgive me. My daughter felt betrayed after hearing this story. Even when I pleaded for forgiveness, she said that you are the one that I should seek forgiveness from. Oh, I'm sorry. You lost your true love to such a cruel fate. Forgive me. Your Majesty, please. But, Grandmother, why would you do such a thing? I mean, this is the same challenge Uloma is facing right now as a result of surviving the curse. She has now become a target. Your Majesty, I don't mind if you punish me severely for the crimes I committed. But please, do not allow my daughter, the Queen, to suffer for crimes that I committed. Treat her well like your wife. Treat her with love and respect. Just a little love. Please. Just 
send me to love and respect. Yes. Your Majesty, it's over. We have lost everything. Oh, please. Please, Ifunanya, stop. I don't need someone who emits negative energies around me. Can't you be creative for once? Can't you just think instead of accepting defeat just like that? Ifunanya, you have wanted this crown all your life. Why would you just sit there and watch someone take it from you without a fight? A fight? You want me to fight for what I deserve? Fine, I will fight. But please, don't get in the way of this fight. Because I don't know who might get caught in the crossfire. Whatever, Ifunanya. Whatever. Well, however you want to go about it, just keep me out of it. But let me warn you. Do not underestimate your opponent. Ulama might be out of the way, but you still have Olamiri to contend with. Excuse me, what are you doing here? I just sent for you. Can you What is happening here? Your Majesty, she seduced me. I'm saying the truth. I came to deliver a message to her, and after everything, she was begging me to make love to her. Me? Yes. Your Majesty, I don't know what he is talking about. Chief Priest, I believe there is a way to find out. Indeed, there is a way to find out. Go, Safalan. We will find out the truth now. Both of you will have to cross this offer. Whosoever is guilty, we instantly run mad. So, confess now. X, you will be struck with instant madness. What are you doing here? Do you want them to suspect us? I heard that they are called chief priests to know who is telling the truth. See, to be sincere with you, I am very, very scared. I'm scared. What are you scared of? What are you scared of? Listen. Hold your ground that she seduced you and everything will be fine. But what if I'm found guilty? But what if I'm severely punished? Please, I don't want any problem. I am all my sick mother has. Please, I, I beg of you. Listen to me. I paid you heavily for this job. Do you understand? Don't you dare implicate me. Don't you dare. Cross this thing. Cross! Please, Your Majesty, please. Please, Your Majesty. My mother is sick. And I will promise good morning if I can step her up. Please forgive me, please. Please, please. And who asked you to set her up? Please, I will confess everything. I will, I will confess everything, please. Please, please. How long do you? The guard confessed that you hatched the plan to frame up the princess. Why will you stoop so low? This is so unlike you. Anyway, 
I have pleaded with her to forgive you. And she has forgiven you. I spent all my life beside you. I couldn't just sit back and watch a crown I craved all my life. Go to another person. Was there any time you came to me offering to be the first bride and I refused? Huh? You were not willing to die for me. The throne nor the kingdom. Why didn't fight someone who decided to give a life for me? Well, I have spoken to my father, the king. And because of our friendship, he's willing to grant you a royal pardon. So first thing tomorrow morning, leave this land. I don't want to ever set my eyes on you again. My prince, my prince, please. Let me, let me apologize to her directly. Please, I, I'm, I'm truly sorry, please. I am not giving you the opportunity to say anything to the woman that was ready to risk everything for me. Like I said, she has forgiven you. You should be okay with that. And remember, tomorrow morning, leave. My prince, please. Hey. What is Aruya Ines doing in my house today? <laughs> oh, I forgot. I paid you to be there. I made you who you are. To think that you came here to show your face again is outrageous. Oh, you've come to mock me. You've come to tell me how a scared loser I am. No. I am not here to ridicule you or to mock you. I am sorry. You pushed me into this. You made me fall in love with the prince. You gave me your blessings. Oh, you came to tell me that you are not wrong. Right? Traitor! You are a traitor. To think that you've been pretending to be happy with me when actually you are jealous of my luck. You were agreed to the plan because you never believed in that cause. No, I never knew about the cause. I actually loved the prince. I was ready to die for him. Hola, Miri. I am sorry things turned out this way. But I never regretted my decision. Hola, Miri. Can we be friends again? I really miss you. Do you know I never told anyone that you planned my kidnap? <laughs> Over my dead body will I be friends with you again? You betrayer! You will pay for this betrayer! You just have to run as fast as your legs can carry you! Away from me! Run! Hola Mary, I am truly sorry. I said run! Why have you decided to kill that maiden? She betrayed me. I entrusted the treasured position in her care. She was supposed to give it back to me when I returned. She finally took charge of that position in a way that I feel pain in my heart. I want her dead. Asi mo ju ogu ji deli ni mo wo maka no ju owo gana o ji de lo ogu ji do wo na kana 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 ka o atolu pa na bu ba tolu pa na to atolu pa na to ba tolu pa na no we do bu bu to gu di we mewe mo bu to ku ni we li ke 
Ojo guji deli ni mawo. Ojo bo gana. Ojo do guji do wo. Naka 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 naka. That maiden has found favor in the eyes of the king. She is under royal protection. Listen to me, Akidi. I don't care. She dug her grave the day she decided to steal my position. Command your offer to kill her right now. If you want her dead, you will have to do it yourself. How do you want me to do it? How? There is a junction at the back of the palace where three roads meet together. It is called Mbakoa Junction. I know the junction where the king makes his sacrifices. I know the junction. Good! Take this charm to that same junction. Tell the charm whatever you want and hit it on the ground seven times. The victim will die wherever she is. Is that all? That is it. But as this process lasts, you must ensure that no one from the palace sees you. Else, something will go wrong. This is the right place, and this is the time. If I was asked to stand in for a friend, I would have given her the treasured position when she comes back. But Uloma is a traitor. She is now telling me that she's in love with my man. She doesn't deserve to leave. Hey. What are you doing here? Is that not a charm you are holding? What are you doing with that? Ah! Ah! trying to do. Don't touch that. Come, we do it. Cock it out. I'm telling you now not to touch that. Allow her to go with her evil. We do it. Cock it out. You will not hear me now. Come, let's be My going. Friend... You know. Come, let's be going. Okay, I've told you. Leave that thing. Let's be going. Come, Zuzan.
Did you say oh, okay? And you say okay? I was not okay now. In that time. Bye, 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 bye. Ah, relax. Okay, relax. I come in peace. I, <clears throat> I have come to apologize for the way I have treated you. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I, I know I should be happy <sighs> that my son is happy with you. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Thank you for accepting me, my queen. I'm, I'm truly honored. I know I should be happy because my son is happy. Uh, by the way, what did you say to His Majesty? I am sorry, my queen. That is a secret between His Majesty and I. Okay. Whatever it is you must have said to him has changed his perception about me. My husband, the king, who used to frown all the time, he's, he was never happy. But today, he's happy with me. You have brought happiness into my household. And happiness shall never depart from you and my son. Thank you. Thank you so much. So much. Thank you. My heart has fallen for you. Your love is all that I see. This must be true love, yes I am sure I might be wrong, but it seems right to me No matter what they say, no matter what they do I have decided to give you my heart Alone, alone, love more I give to you my heart love more No matter what they say, no matter what they do, love more. Yeah. My heart has fallen for you. Your love is all that I see. This must be true love, yes I am sure. I might be wrong, but it seems right to me No matter what they say, no matter what they do I have decided to give you my heart Alone, alone, love 